To make a difference sometimes takes a community, and in this case, making a difference is taking two communities. They are the M&M communities of Marinette and Menominee. That's right, and the goal is to reduce the amount of homelessness in those areas. Fox 11's Gabrielle Mays shows us how. It's hard. It really is. Um, especially with teenagers. Carrie Brewer's been homeless for a year. We lost our home because of our finances. So, you know, it's just been a fight ever since. She decided to attend this event called Project Homeless Connect. It's a partnership between more than two dozen organizations. The goal of the project is to work with people just like Brewer to help them get back on their feet. Forty people showed up for the event. I don't think a lot of them have the resources to go to all the different entities to try and get the help they need. The state of Michigan gave organizers a $500 grant to help. It went towards things like food and other supplies. Free clothing, haircuts, and eye exams were also available. People also learned about housing and job opportunities in the area. Brewer says it's all a tremendous help. It's re more resources for me to where I can not only get my children the things that they need, but also to get the family the stuff that we need. Since Marinette and Menominee are border cities, organizers say some resources can't cross state lines, but this event is put into place to help those in need. But people come here because um, they don't have any place to go and a lot of your homeless shelters are full. There isn't enough money to help people with housing. That's, that's a large problem. We just, we just don't have enough in this area. Organizers say they plan on doing this event next year. In Marinette, Gabrielle Mays, Fox 11 News. There is one homeless shelter in Menominee, Michigan. It can hold around 30 people. There is also one homeless shelter in Marinette, which can hold about 12.